The education of most of Somali schoolgirls is going to be in danger if they are forced to leave the world's largest refugee camp in Kenya and move to their war-torn country. Youngest Nobel laureate Malala Yousaf Sai Tuesday warned it can be disastrous. Many families in the refugee camps, they uh, force their daughters to get married at the age of 11, 10. There are other issues as well, girls getting, going through FGM and many other issues. But the fact is that these families, they do not see any alternative for their daughters. If there aren't enough schools, if then there is not enough awareness raised, then the parents choose that they should rather send their daughters and get, get them married. Uh, rather than getting education. Malala, Pakistani teenage education activist, marked her 19th birthday by visiting the Dadaab refugee camp to inspire refugee schoolgirls to stay the course amid plans by the Kenyan government to close the camp. As the camp is going to be closed down soon, I wanted to make sure that the girls' education is not affected by it. And the fact is that many girls spoke to me today and they highlighted that there should be arrangements made for them in Somalia if they move there. So it is really about the importance of lives and about the importance of people and about the importance of the future generation and, and their education. And I think the government's decisions that they are making, they should seriously think about what the impact is going to be like on people and their future. The UN is helping out. They are providing families returning to Somalia from Dadaab vouchers to pay for private schools, which can cost around $20 a month. Between 500 and 1,000 Somali refugees voluntarily return to Somalia from Dadaab each week. Over 14,000 have returned since December 2014.